So the chickens are in there, the baby birds. <laughs> I got to um, get them some food today. Cause, or actually, I'll probably get them some tomorrow. But no, I got to get them some today. There are the boys. So um, now I got a, a breather in my morning work duties to come out and address what happened yesterday. So um, <laughs> he's like, what do you have? So we've been having some problems with raccoons lately. Um, they've been eating the deer corn and they've been messing with the deer, chasing them off. Uh, not a lot of people are feeding this year because of what's happening behind us, the solar farm and all that. So they've been asked to not hunt. So the deer, there's a little bit more competition for food. Um, so we put out some bait traps and these are, I can't remember, Z, Z something. They're basically dog proof traps and they, they're paw traps, but they're not like the clamp paw traps that you think. And, um, I have a little video that I'm going to put in and show you a little bit about, uh, what they look like. So here's, uh, trap number one figure down here by the stream and there's always raccoon trails coming in and out of here all the time um, and the rest of them we're gonna go up there but um, there is our Z trap which is a dog safe trap for raccoons and I put out their favorite treat marshmallows they love marshmallows so we put a little bit around there and it is strapped to this tree root which you can see and I used this little ratchet type thing that goes through the end of that hole and around there. So I put a couple of tempting marshmallows up there too. So um, if he comes down here, we'll put his paw in there and we'll get ourselves a raccoon. So let me show you how I do this one. Now I have this one. I've got to hide that a little bit better. But uh, this is unfortunately where uh, where the deer come through. So they come right up and through there. There's my camera right there. Say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> and um, I've seen them come here. There's not a lot of corn left. But um, let's see. Maybe there's a couple little bit. But I know the deer come right through here. So. Um, I hate that I put it here, but the deer won't be able to get into it. So we're going to move this camera. Um, I'm probably going to put it right here so uh, we can see if they come through and stuff like that. So see what happens. So maybe we'll have another one. Cross your fingers. So the first one we put down here. And I don't see anything here. So let's take a look. It was attached to the tree here. And I see the, the marshmallows are still there. And I see that they have been untouched, but I do see a new break. A new tree break so that's new so we're gonna leave this one here and um, let's go up there and check the other one 
Well, as you can see, there's a, a little critter that's kind of interested in what's we, what we've got over here. Remember I put those marshmallows around and uh, she seems to be kind of interested. But come to find out, it's not a she. This is one of the little button bucks that I see every morning. And unfortunately, he doesn't have his little sister with him. But he's kind of curious. You can see the trap over there, just in front of his nose a little bit. He's very curious as to what this new thing is. Probably trying to decide if he wants to stick around. Oop. <laughs> Looks like uh, he says maybe, maybe this isn't going to be something fun. I think I might be on my way. And deer are very curious little creatures anyway. And since it didn't smell like danger, well, it was no big deal just to run away. Well, just decide to wander off. And then here we are. We have ourselves a raccoon. And again, Mr. Buck decides that it's not him, so just keep on going. But these two here, they're very curious as to what all the commotion's about. And there he is. We caught one in this trap. So, there's our guy, and uh, he's not happy, unfortunately. And there's the camera, so we'll have to take a look and see how long it took him to get caught. And uh, we'll go from there. So, that's one down that we don't have to worry about because there was like three here because um, this is where the deer come in through. They come in and they come across and they were eating all the corn. So, sorry little guy, but uh, your days are numbered. <laughs>